Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Pokey Rogue. Session loaded successfully, here we are. All right, we're 51. I gotta remind myself of my team and everything. Haven't played in like two weeks. I wanted to play last week, uh, but I was too, too busy working. Too much to edit, too much to play. I'm not even done this week's challenge yet. I've got a little bit more playing to do. But let's remind ourselves of our team here. Okay, we have Exadrill here. Oh, I can see the friendship on the left today. That's cool. Oh, yeah, uh, apparently there's like an event going on, like a Halloween event, so double shiny odds. That's kind of cool. It is November 2nd, 2024 right now. Right, we have our Clobopus, Limber. Extra attack, that's sweet. Less speed, kind of lame, but extra attack is cool. Uh, we have our super shiny Litwick, who I really like. Special attack up is pretty sweet. I remember our health EV is really bad. Is that two focus bands on the same Pokemon? That is what that is, right? Focus band. Oh, right, it's, I think the chat told us it stacks. Uh, Grimer. I do love Grimer, although our Grimer isn't, like, anything too amazing yet. Yet. I don't like that the attack is down. Wait, what's the special attack on it? 30. Ew. Uh, we have our other shiny here. And we have this dude. His animation loop is way too short. <laughs> Looks weird. Not all the uh, animation loops of the new Pokemon are great. I appreciate that they tried. Uh, okay, I don't want to get paralyzed. I mean, Rock Slide's physical, but does it, does it count as contact? I don't know. I mean, this might, might one-shot him anyway, but we'll see. Hey, not if he uses charm. Ooh, not even close. Wow! The double charm. And I missed the triple charm! Wow. Alright, just try and catch him. You can't get paralyzed, your park run. Can ground types just straight up not get paralyzed by anything now? Not even static? Is that how it works in the modern games? See, I don't know these things. In the old games, you could still get paralyzed. You just couldn't get hit by an electric move. You know, static would still paralyze you, or dragon's breath would still paralyze you. Ooh, big nugget. Man, our luck is pretty high. Jolteon. I mean, I kind of want to stay in. It's just our attack is down so much. Um... I should probably switch. Yeah, what about Stun Spore? Body Slam, Stun Spore? Yeah, there's a lot of non-electric things that paralyze. Do, do really none of them work on ground type? Ow. You fucking for real? All right, Exadrill. Yeah, how about you buzzy buzz off, motherfucker? <laughs> you just copycatted your own move. They do work on ground type. Oh, okay. See, I don't know, because I haven't played the newest generation of Pokemon, so anything could be different now. Um, Power 200. Target faints instantly if this attack hits, though. How can it have power? I think I'm going to get rid of Crush Claw for Sword Stance. Sword Stance is a sweet move. You think only electric types are immune to paralysis? I feel like I heard that at some point, that they became immune to it. Sludge Wave. Um... I mean, that's cool. 
it seems like it's just a straight upgrade from Sludge Bomb. No, hmm, it says everything around it. I'm guessing that also hits my partner in a double battle. Maybe I don't want it then. It's only very slightly stronger than Sludge Bomb anyway. Madrai is immune to cringe. That's not true. Looked it up. You can paralyze ground Pokemon. See, I, I kind of figured you could. Mm, okay. What the fuck is that? I love it, but what the fuck is that? What's this? An Oricorio dances alone, sadly alone without a partner. Uh, show it a dance. I will show it a dance. I... Uh... <laughs> Do we have a Pokemon who knows how to dance? Grimer! Doesn't know a dance move. Oh. I mean, I don't, I don't think I have a dance move. Does it mean literally a move with dance in the name? Oh, Swords Dance. Duh. Fucking duh. I just learned it. Watches in fascination as Exadrill shows off Swords Dance. It loves the display. Wants to join your party. Oh. Wow, that attack Eevee. Pom Pom style. What generation is this from? Learn the move? Oh, uh, well, too late for that. Okay, so what is this? Dancer. When another Pokemon uses a dance move, it, cause it can use a dance move following it regardless of its speed. Okay. That is high special attack. I see it's got a bunch of dances. Acrobatics is a sweet move. User attacks the target by dancing very hard. The user's type determines the type of this move. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. I... Uh, yeah, I think I'm willing to replace my dog. Let me just double check this thing. Yeah, I mean, Nuzzle's kind of cool, Bite and whatever, but I'm, I'm going to replace it. Okay, well, I'm in this menu. Unparalyzed Litwick. Heal it. I want the weirdo on the right. The weirdo on the left is okay, too, but this medicine won't cure Amphi. I like its mildly annoying cry. I'm gonna dig on Amphi, get rid of it, so I can catch the other thing, the not Pikachu. The ball Pikachu, yeah! Ow. Steel Electric! I can tell. It's got an icon there for it. Oh, before I forget, well, we're still early in the stream. Oh, sorry, stretched my back a little. Ooh, and yawning. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, bad sleep, bad sleep. Um, Haven and Hearth is now on Steam. Yay, I've been playing that game for 10 years now, and it just got released on Steam yesterday, so November 1st, 2024. Um, I love that game. You know, I don't even need to dig there. I can just rock slide. Um, yeah, Haven and Hearth just got released on Steam. I love that game. And it's a new world. If anyone wants to join in, world reset. I believe they've currently broken their records for like most players on the launch now that they're on Steam. Haven and Hearth, super fun. I've got some old videos on it on my channel. A bunch of people learned how to play that game through me, actually, which I'm very proud of, because I adore the game. It's hard, but it's very fun. Intense Fire leaves the target with a burn, but it's 50 accuracy. I'm good. 
Very fun game. Yeah, we have a village. I mean, it's not like a full village with walls and stuff yet, like it was on previous worlds, but you know, this, this world is one day old, so obviously we don't have that yet. But we have a whole community. Go to my uh, Discord, linked in the description of all my videos and streams. And you can go to the game section and go to the Haven and Hearth section. Doesn't matter if you've never played the game before, we're happy to teach you. Uh, and the game is free. You can play it on all kinds of stuff. I mean, Mushrooms in the chat, she plays it on a Steam Deck. You can play this game on all kinds of stuff. Fun, fun ass game. You can even play it on a terrible computer. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna start throwing Pokeballs. Damn it. Bad move. It's fire type dynamic punch, but it burns. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Well, there goes all those swords dances. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to hurt this thing some more. I don't want to faint it, though, and I'm worried I'm just gonna faint it. Yeah, it's a hard game. It can be very mean sometimes. Uh, you're likely to get murdered by Russians, um, but it's a, also a very fun game. It is very, very rewarding. Iron Barbs. I mean, it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll use it on a different run. Hey! Oh, man, I don't even know what our chandelier is going to look like. Like, I know what Chandelure looks like, but... Oh, right, there's a middle form. I forgot. Litwick, Litwick evolved into Lampent. It's not the nicest looking Lampent, to be honest. If the blue was a little deeper, maybe it would look better. Um... Yeah, I want to... I want to revive. I want to revive the Ascension. Oh, hey, Rival! Long time no see! This power plant doesn't really look like a power plant. I'm gonna be honest. Two sandbags and a volcano does not make a power plant. Haha! Yeah, I thought you'd switch. Oh, double resists fire. I don't have an awesome answer for this. Grass would have been nice, but... Do you think I'm faster than... No, because I'm bad speed nature. I should mock punch. Fucking... Oh, it's one of those fights. Oh, hey, shiny. Um, okay. I'll use Electro Bird. Geothermal energy? Oh, I see. Hey! I didn't even think that was gonna happen. That's right, I return dances. Oh, this is one of those fucking fights. Well, I really beat its ass with that move. Eh, both are 100 accuracy. There, at least we made something faint. Wants to learn agility. I'm good. Taunt. I'm good. I'm terrible with making good use of those moves. Hey, if you're sending that out, I'm feeling pretty good about this fight. <laughs> Come on, what you got? Oh man, you're doomed. Whoo! I think we might actually faint here, though. Damn. Right, because overgrowth boosted it, that's why. That's okay. Oh, whew, don't switch into that. What am I thinking? Man, you are desperate. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. My Lampent is like a sweep machine. It's basically a Fuokoko. <laughs> it's the spirit of a Fuokoko trapped in a lamp.
Just got done watching Cyndaquil, so you're allowed to decide to say hello. Hey, how's it going? Wants to learn Drill Run. I don't think I know what that is. Huh. Crits more often. It's very accurate. 80 power. That seems pretty good. Um... Okay, it's like dig, but doesn't take two turns. Has a slight mischance, but crits more. I'll take it. I like to think that Lampent has a Poe in it. You know, from like Legend of Zelda. I think I want the black belt for my octopus. Luxury is kind of cool. Um, Exadrill. Did you know that Fukoko is a good sweeper? Vicious rumors. Vicious rumors. I think the mischance can be eliminated if you get a wide lens. I think we might have a wide lens. Let me double check that. I don't remember if that was this playthrough or a different one. They kind of blend together sometimes. Hmm. I'm good. I'm not going to make good use of reversal anyway. I'm slow. Yeah, it is kind of a cool animation on Drill Run. Makes me think of Mega Man X. Installing Haven and Hearth on Steam Deck. I hope you have fun. You might need to ask Mushrooms on how to, like, set up the controls for it well. Because the game is only one day old on Steam. The game's been out for, like, 13 years, and I've been playing it for 10 years. But it only came out on Steam yesterday, so I doubt there's, like, good Steam con Steam Deck controls for it pre-made yet. You might want to ask Mushrooms how she set up her controls. Have there been any video ideas you've scrapped? Oh, yeah, like, obviously. I've been doing YouTube for 15 years. <laughs> There's ideas that have been scrapped. Um, yeah, so, what were they, and why did you scrap them? Oh, I don't remember off the top of my head. If I, if I remember something, I'll say, but, like, it's YouTube. It's impossible not to have ideas that don't turn out. Uh, rare candy... Nah, I don't really have anything that evolves by friendship here, do I? I don't need the rare candy. Do I need the rare candy? No, I don't need the rare candy. Playing with a bullshit whack controller schematic I basically just built up over the year. Yeah, I'm sure it's not like 100% foolproof or anything, but... There we go. I did not need that crit. <laughs> what do I use to edit videos out of curiosity? Oh, I use um, the Adobe Editing Suite because that's what I learned in high school back in the day, half my life ago. More than half my life ago, actually. I'm 32. I started editing video at 14. Um, so, like, nowadays I'm using, like, Adobe Premiere for the video. I use Adobe Audition for the audio, Photoshop for, like, the thumbnails and art assets. Um... I dabble very slightly in Adobe After Effects. If you've ever seen my intro animation that I use in some of my Let's Plays where it, it like opens the golden curtains and there's my name, I made that in After Effects. That's the best thing I've ever made in After Effects. I'm not great with it. I haven't even touched that program in like four years. Salty never completed the KOTOR playthrough. I'm salty that the game blue screened my computer multiple times. Uh, I want Ultra Balls. Well, hold on, though. Hydro Pump? Who could learn it? Exadrill? Exadrill can learn Hydro Pump? Weird. I'm gonna take the Ultra Balls. Whoa, that Electrode is pissed. Is he made of wood? That's crazy. What region is that? Blue screens of the Old Republic. <laughs> I kind of love it. I hope I don't one-shot this with Shadow Ball. Oh, uh, fucking fuck, dude. I mean, it's not gonna hit me, but I wanted to catch you. 
Legend Zarceus? Gotcha. I didn't even know that Legends Arceus um, uh, introduced its own unique Pokemon or like uh, uh, regional variants until I started playing Poke Rogue. Because I didn't play very far into Legends Arceus. I like that game a lot, actually. I think it's very fun, but I wanted to play it more on the show. The thing is, like, I, I couldn't play it more on the show. I was, oh, that's our first Master Ball quality thing. Hell yeah. See, that's what luck B minus gets you. You can tell it's lucky, because B- is better than what I did in school. Combines two Pokemon, transfers abilities, splits base stats and types, and shares move pool. How the hell does that work? Combines two Pokemon, transfers abilities. So, what does it mean transfers? Do I get both? Splits base stats. So you get the middle of them? Because it says splits, not combines. Share is move pool, so like I would get, but what what four moves would I get? Do I pick? You get the ability of the second Pokemon. Pokemon one has first. Step. I'm gonna be honest. This doesn't sound very useful. Weird but fun. I don't actually think I want this. You pick the moves. At least I get that. Yeah, that might not actually be good. I swear I just saw Rocky walk in this room and I'm looking around now and he's just not here. Ninja Cat. It doesn't help that he's the exact same color as the floor. So sometimes you just lose track of him. And I have terrible eyesight. Okay, he definitely just came in, said hi, and insta left the room. Okay. Anthrax Ninja! Love that reference. That's a reference to a. God, how old is that now? That must have been like 20 years ago. <laughs> Anthrax Ninja is a reference to a United States Marines commercial reminding you to get your, like, flu shot or something. <laughs> Grimer and Clobopus? Maybe? You know what? They're probably our least useful Pokemon. Maybe I just combine them and see what happens. Oh, I do have a wide lens. Wait, that's wide, right? Not zoom? Yeah, that's wide lens. Cool. I might want to actually move that item. You could combine Exadrill and... Or <laughs> for flying and ground? I mean, I could, but I think they're kind of good independently. I feel like this is better to... Yeah, yeah, what you were saying there. This is better to combine two Pokemon to make it actually useful. Because my pig thing has been kind of garbage every run I've ever used it. Hey, if I combine them, will it still be shiny? I'm going to try it. I don't feel like I should be passing this up because it's kind of cool. Splice! Splice two Pokemon together with DNA. Oh, wow, it's a really ugly pink now, but we did make it shiny. Hey, if that means I can start with a shiny Grimer from now on, then it was worth it, because I love Griner. Grimer. Griner. <laughs> um... So are we, like, normal type now? Poison normal, okay. Okay. I'll get rid of Mudshot, because I have a ground type that can use that instead. It's really ugly looking, but I don't need Dig. Disarming voice? No, I don't need disarming voice. Let's learn Work Up. Is that attack and special attack? Yes. Do I want that more than minimize? Probably not. You don't keep the shiny Grimer part? Aww. It would have been worth it just for the shiny Grimer. Hey. Catch that garbage. 
I like catching everything I can, even if I'm not gonna use it. Oh damn, oh damn, what the fuck? All right, Master Ball, wait, ho, ho, hold on. We're about to go into a boss fight. I'm so low on cash. Amphi, I should not have spent all that money. I can totally just beat this with Exadrill. Damn it, I was worried it would be like a trainer, like a gym leader or something. Go back from Crown Jewel, wish you were here. When you say back from Crown Jewel, do you mean like in person? Or do you mean you were watching it on like the network or whatever? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't sleep well. I hope you had fun. I haven't, you live in Riyadh? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I hope you had fun time, man. I haven't watched Crown Jewel in a few years just because I've had a really hard time. Hey, evolving. I've had a really hard time keeping up with WWE ever since they got rid of the network and they moved to Peacock. It's brutal. But I really liked all those um, Crown Jewel shows. So my ex, um, she's Iraqi Turkmen. She was born in Baghdad. She was a really big fan of those uh, Crown Jewel shows. And so was I, because it was really awesome just getting to see like a completely different crowd, completely different stadium. Skip to egg summary? No way, no way, can't skip that. Um, WWE isn't on cable anymore? Oh, it's on cable, I just don't have cable. Um, yeah, no, those shows are really fun. Like, yeah, some of the booking is fucking insane, <laughs> but, but like I did, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna go over here and say that I liked Goldberg beating The Fiend, I did not. But I like whenever you get a show that's like totally different and in a new country. I think that's fun as hell. I like when they did that one show too where they were in India. Uh, the Superstar Spectacle, I think they called it. Dude, anytime they're in a new, vastly different country, that's a really fun show, you know? Okay, everybody, make your guesses on what eggs are gonna hatch. So far, nobody has guessed a single egg correctly. But in fairness, there's a lot of Pokemon in this game, so, you know. The world was fine until The Fiend lost? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, you remember when Monsor beat Claudio Castagnoli? Um, what's his fucking WWE name? Cesaro. Beat Cesaro at that one crown jewel? That was fun as hell. I'm a huge Monsor fan, he's always been amazing. Gibble, Chansey, Pikachu, Drillbur, Charmander, Pachirisu, Ditto, Farfetch'd. Okay, we got some good guesses. We got some good guesses. Any other guesses you guys want to do? Pumpkaboo? I like Pumpkaboo. He's in AEW now? Hell yeah, he is. And he's with Mace, friend of the show. Mason Madden, uh, he watches this show. He watches the Pokemon challenges. And that's awesome because I've been a fan of his for a long time. I used to watch him on main event. <laughs> I I joke, uh, I, I laugh when I say main event, but legit, main event has some really fun creative matches. I actually really like WWE main event. Man, I remember um, Mustafa Ali and Mansoor against um, Mason T-Bar on main event. That was a really fucking fun tag match. They had a fun little feud going on there. Those dudes are all such creative wrestlers. And to be the only person who watched main event, that, that is true. That's how I, that's why I guessed that Jinder was gonna win the world's title before he even went to SmackDown. Cause I watched him for like a year on main event. I'm like, damn, this dude is rapidly getting way buffer and way better in the ring. And like, I don't know, it feels like he's really working on something here, you know? That's why I'm Madristradamus. <laughs> All right, what's hatching? It's Dung Beetle. It looks so fucked up. <laughs> the IVs on it are kind of sweet though. I don't like that it's attack down, but it's attack IV is high. And a special attack up, but it's special attack IV isn't that high. I prefer when they stack it, you know? The official least like Pokemon. <laughs> Pooh Buck. It's a great. Bunnery, okay. Oh, the special defense on that is pretty sweet.
Guys, I can never remember. Volbeat or the other one that starts with an I. Which one has fast leveling and which one has incredibly slow leveling? I think Volbeat is the one with slow leveling. Hey! Oh my god, wait, hold on, someone guessed that, right? Hold on, let me let me look at the chat. Who guessed Farfetch? Because you're the first one to ever guess one of these right. <gasps> oh, that's the fast leveling one? Oh, thanks. Yeah, who guessed that right? Don't tell me it already scrolled past. I don't see it. It probably scrolled past. Whoever is in the chat will let me know. It me! My guess! Oh, sweet! <laughs> Wow, you're the first one to guess one right. Ivy Cludge, Cudgel, Cludge. I can't fucking read, dude. Experience charm. Oh, oh, for the boss fight. I thought I got that from the egg at first. I was gonna say, what the hell? Hey, Electrode, I love Electrode. What is this song? Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, EOS Concealed Ruins. There's a there's a certain part of the tune that made me think of another song, but I'm I'm blanking on what it is. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, most of this song doesn't sound like this other song, but Final Fantasy V. Oh, this song rocks. Sorry, oh, Final Fantasy V Battle at Something Bridge. There's a little tune at the beginning of this song that sounded a little like that, but the rest of the song doesn't sound like it. Someone's gonna know that song I'm talking about, though. Battle at whatever bridge near the end of Final Fantasy V. Clash at the Big Bridge? That sounds right. You levitating motherfucker. Mmm. Okay. Which is a great song, by the way. This song is also great, it's just completely different. Ooh, what's not great are those IVs. What the fuck is that? <laughs> well, I'm happy I caught one. Yeah, I know you. Hmm. I don't really want any of this, but the special defense up is probably going to be nice because we're in a factory and I'm guessing it's going to be steel and electric. Oh, hey, right before we fight a star grunt. Star, what the hell gen is star? Oh, poison ground. That's awesome. I love how it looks, too. I strongly approve. Hmm. Okay, well, if that's what she switched into, then I'm feeling pretty good. Gen 9? Oh, okay, see, I haven't played any of Gen 9. It's the only gen I haven't played at all yet. I want to save it for the show. I own... Violet? Scarlet? I don't remember which one I own. I haven't played it yet. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like I could get away with taking superpower over brick break. Team Star Grunt theme slaps. See, that's word vomit, but I understand stood what you meant. <laughs> Out of context, it's very funny though. We're higher attack than special attack. Let's take gunk shot. Hey, if you're sending this back in, then I know you don't have anything to deal with me. Ooh. See, this is hard. This crits more often. But Earthquake is very reliable. Um... Did you know the octopus evolves? Yes. 
I don't know how it evolves, but I know it evolves because I've seen the evolution. It's like a grappling one, right? We fought it once. I think I'll take Earthquake. I'd, li I'd rather the reliability. Reliability wins you fights. Ew. Fucking bat monkey salad fingers. I like that animation for Earthquake, where we do the Earthquake Splash. <laughs> Good description, thank you. Hey chat, did I convince any of you to go give Haven and Hearth a try? Because only the real ones would. Candy Jar, increase the number of levels added by rare candies. That's kind of cool. I'll take that. Can you give me a shout out? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. When you ask for it. See, it depends on what you think a shout out is. If by shout out you mean like just saying hi to you, just like hang out in the chat and that'll happen naturally. If you mean like shout out your channel, I'm not going to shout out a channel if I've never seen it. Wishlisted, we'll check it out tomorrow. I hope you have fun. It's a free game. You can optionally pay money on the game if you want to get, like, little aesthetic perks, like a fancy-looking hat. Oh, but otherwise, it's a free game. Very, very fun. Get rid of Feather Dance? I was kind of thinking that, too. Sorry, what's our special attack? Much higher than our physical attack. I think I... You know what? Ah, uh, sorry. I was thinking of getting rid of acrobatics, but no, because it's accurate. I'll get rid of Feather Dance. I don't think I'm going to use it. Well, thank you for the shout out. So just responding counts as a shout out. Okay. See, I don't know the rules. Also damages the user quite a lot. I mean, it didn't used to, unless they upped the amount of damage you take from it. I think I'd rather just keep Headbutt. Great ball. Oh, another star grunt. <laughs> that? Okay. What was that Torkoal cry? It sounded like a... Like a womp or something for Mario. Enderby doesn't know the rules. This is true as we know he cheats in Pokemon challenges with rush starters. You caught me. I'm a noob. I use rush starters. I'm trying to remember what the context of that was. Wasn't it like some guy in the comments was like really mad at No, it was it was um it wasn't a Pokemon challenge. It was Was it Pokemon X? It was what it whatever game has the the grass cat starter, I want to say, right? No, it was Rowlet, right? Whatever game has Rowlet. Uh, I was told that I'm a noob or something because I use rush starters, and I kept asking him, well, what the hell's a rush starter? And he never answered. And I put it out on Twitter, and everyone's like, I think he made up that term. And everyone thought it was really funny. I think to this day, it's my most liked tweet I've ever made. Yeah, dude, you should not have made it sunny. Because now my flamethrower is killing your rock type. I was going to put something here, but I forgot what I was typing. So hello. Oh, hi. Thank you for the for the, the super chat. Oh, I should have switched. I was hoping I'd be faster than him. I kind of thought he looked like a slow Pokemon, you know? Mother fuck. Hey!
here I was about to ask what a rush starter was. No, no, I think he literally made up that term. Don't worry about it. It's not a thing. Just go on my Twitter and search rush starter and you'll find the, the whole dialogue. I think you gotta go on phone though to search for tweets on someone's account. Well, the browser version has an advanced search function, but I don't remember where it is. <laughs> okay, no, I gotta buy a revive, no matter how expensive it is. Cause seriously, Lampent's too important. Oh, thank you for the super chat. S-A-R, what kind of currency is S-A-R? I don't think I know that one. Cloth has a dangerous ability where it gets a mini shell smash when it gets to half health. Okay, so inverted um, um, Archaeops thing. What, what was Archaeops' thing? Defeatist? Ah! Saudi Arabian rupees. Oh, that makes sense. That was the person who said they're Saudi, right? Motherfuck! Dude, I don't want to lose Lampent again! Ugh! I'm gonna keep trying to catch it. I want Bronzong. High defense! Very high defense with the nature. Bye, Minin. Oh yeah, not Ruby. That's right. Well, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Team Star Squad boss, bad hair. Is that hair or is that a hood? Oh, it's got the cool muck. Um, yeah, I'm switching for sure. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Ooh, metal sound would be good. I could use this as my setup. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have gotten rid of block. I just remembered block is actually useful in this game. It's not useful in like all the Pokemon challenges I do because they so rarely switch Pokemon. But in this game, I bet you block is actually quite good for locking someone down so you could switch into someone who would be good against them, you know? God, I just realized my muck is called... What is that? Hold on, where... Mucklong. <laughs> what an awful name. Uh, acid armor is kind of sweet, but... Again, minimize. Not that I even use my muck. It was cool because it causes a lot of new strategies. Yeah. Yeah, Honey Gather and Pickup are useful now. When normally they're kind of, you know, not useful in combat at least. Uh, but in this, they're useful. Skun Tank. Stunky and Skun Tank look too similar. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not even animated. The whole game had to zoom out to get that in the shot. <laughs> Look how Gen 9 said, fuck it, our Pokemon are engines now. Yeah, apparently. I don't want Earth Power, I'm good. Oh, we have the candy jar. Maybe we should be getting that. God, I gotta revive Lampent again. Lapent. Lampent? Probably Lampent.
Mm, does Magnezone have Levitate? Does anybody know off the top of their head if Magnezone uses Levitate or not? Because I'm deciding between Earthquake and Flamethrower for this. It does not. Okay. We're really low on Earthquakes. That's our last one. Could Magnet Rise. That's true. Has Sturdy or, Mag or, or, or Static? I guess it had Static then. Dire hit. I want to have critical hit chance for this upcoming boss fight. Special tech harshly fell, that's fine. Don't you fucking... Oh, that was a really weak self-destruct. Belch, like Lord Belch. I mean, it's cool, but I would need a berry, and also it's special attack, which is not really my jam. Duskstone. Who here uses a Duskstone? I know it only drops if you can use it. Clobopus? Nope. Lampin? Does Lampin really use a Duskstone? It uses a Duskstone. I didn't know that. See, I never used a Chandelure when I played Gen 5. Although I should have, because it's incredibly good. I still don't like the color of blue they used. I wish it was darker, but otherwise it looks pretty cool. I like Porygon too. The only good sequel. Mm-mm. 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 You can cancel stone evolution in this? That's funny. Do you get the stone back or is it just wasted? Hmm, that's a cool ability. Compares a Pokemon's defense to special defense before raising its own attack or special attack, whichever will be most, most effective. That is a pretty cool ability, yeah. I might want it on my team. Who would I get rid of, though? I get too attached to my teams. Nah, I'm not gonna take it. Oops. There. Trying to learn Belch again. No. <laughs> I guess both Muck and the, the uh, pig thing can learn it. Keith Higgins. Sorry, I, I misread that out of the corner of my eyes. Keith Hackney, and I was gonna say, you mean the god? The legend of early UFC? From, like, UFC 3 and 4, I think? Elixir for Earthquake? Yeah, I think I should. We're going into a boss battle, too. Okay, Klefki. You think it has Levitate? Sorry, there's so many Pokemon that are clearly Levitating, but it's a crapshoot on if they actually know the move Levitate, or the ability, rather. Master Ball it? Oh, damn, I should've. I don't know, maybe I should hold on to the Master Ball until I see, like, a Legendary. Hey, Salmons, how's it going? Laboratory or Plains? Plains is so plain. Let's go to the laboratory. Let's go to the lavatory. <laughs> you play Stardew Valley, and that game is fun. I've checked out your channel before. We follow each other on Twitter. I like my farming games. I'm a big Harvest Moon and, and um, Stardew Valley guy. I don't know if you saw, but I've been streaming uh, Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life, the old GameCube version. I love that game. 
Harvest Moon 64 also kicks ass. Sorry, I immediately forget what I'm against. <laughs> there we go. I'm happy with this. Uh, Chandelier, what's your ability again? Flash fire? Okay, so I don't want an earthquake. No, oh, you exploding bastard. Oh my god, he blew up. Okay, it goes against both of us. Okay. Damn, I might ac accidentally make him faint because of that, because he hurt his own muck. Never played, but it's on the to-do list. Uh, it's very good. Oh, oh, I wanted to catch that muck for more EVs. Mm. Do I care about X accuracy? Hi, Nubi. I know you don't watch boxing and all. That's correct. I don't watch boxing. Just found out that Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are fighting this month, apparently. Okay. I, I don't like Jake Paul. <laughs> I, I don't watch boxing and I don't like Jake Paul, but, uh... Mike Tyson's Punch Out's a fun game. I like the Wii remake, that's a really cool game. Great music. Did you see Small Ant won this first try? It made me mad. Nope. I know Small Ant. We've talked a little bit. It wasn't under the best terms, but we get along. Uh, we talked once because, like, five years ago or something, he made a ch uh, Pokemon challenge video when he was first coming up, and he he uh, did a challenge that was like one of my challenges, and he he didn't co he didn't like trash talk me or anything. It's just something he said in the video came out kind of wrong, and people thought he was trash talking me. So I had so to this day I have his viewers show up and occasionally say you suck small ant rules. When I DM'd him though, like he was a perfectly nice guy and he's like, I did not mean it like that. And it's yeah, I understood, you know? It, it's all wander under the bridge. That's why I say it's unfortunate that that like we've only talked under kind of unfortunate circumstances of his fans once once a year at least. I'll have, like, a few people come in whenever that video gets in the algorithm again and they all just shit-talk me. I can guarantee he doesn't want them to do that, though. So I don't blame him. No Poke Center, right? Yeah, no Poke Center. He did a no Poke Center run, and he is like, yeah, I want, uh, I want to do it like him, but I don't want to do it like how he did it. And then they all were, like, mad at me about it. Some of them would trash on Point Crow, too. They're terrible. Yeah, I hear that him and Point Crow have made up, though. I'm happy to hear it. I'm happy that people have buried the hatchet and, and this water under the bridge and whatever, you know? Because I, I do think that Small Ant seems like a good dude. And look, you can't control everything your fans do. You can't help it if some of the people who watch you and enjoy your show are just uh, ornery assholes. You have no control over that. You can't police everything, you know? You'll go crazy. It's impossible. Mm, we have a boss fight coming up. I'm gonna take the X attack. Some people think you have beef with J-Rose. Yeah, and some people think J-Rose has beef with me. I don't know why. Neither of us have any clue why. <laughs> We like each other. We've liked each other since day one. <laughs> We've both talked about that publicly. I don't know. I get along great with J. Rose. He's a good dude. I don't know. People just, they want, they want YouTubers to have problems. I've had many, okay, many. I've had at least five very vocal viewers who've repeatedly told me, you need to step up your game, MGB. J Rose is beating you in views. He's your rival. I don't give a shit. Congratulations that he's doing better than me. I'm proud of him. 
He's working hard and doing well. I'm happy for him. I don't care if someone does better than me in views. It's not a fucking competition. Oh shit, Beldum. Hey, didn't someone guess Beldum for an egg hatch on a previous stream of this? I feel like someone did. Also, those EVs kind of kick ass. Now, I do believe he's more of a special attacker than a physical attacker, but whatever. The EVs are still, still pretty spectacular. Now, I don't like that it's jolly nature and special attack is its lowest ev that's not great but the rest of the evs are pretty nice experience balance ways experience receiving battles towards the lower level party members oh shit i actually really like that i'll take that electrode uh extra real metagross pretty physical oh shit okay yeah that's fine then that's a pretty good one then you magnet raising son of a bitch. Meteor Mash and Zen Headbutt. Oh, that's right. Those are physical. Might find a mint. Hey, if I can find like an attack up mint, then that'd be pretty mint. That'd be pretty. I took a mint. <laughs> Help yourself. That is what they're there for. Yeah, people do like to headcan in real life. It's scary. Look, if there's anything I can tell you about being a YouTuber that will make you be like, ooh, maybe I don't want to be a YouTuber, is that people will make up lore on you, a real human being. When I say people make up lore, I really mean people make up lore. It's not even like specific YouTubers. It's like any YouTuber can get this. I have friends all across different genres of YouTube and they all have made up lore. It's even worse if you're in politics, YouTube. I have, like, friends who do politics, YouTube, and holy shit, dude, the things people just make up about you. And they don't even understand that they're making things up about you. They're convinced that what they're saying is right. Freaks. <laughs> yes. Mm, I want to switch Pokemon. Uh, no, that was, that was, like, yeah, that's, like, catching a Pokemon. Yeah, no. Go away. Uh, I want to switch Pokemon, though, because I don't want Chandelure getting hit by Future Sight. I don't have a Dark type on the team, though. Reviver Seed. Um, Chandelure. Magneton. I'm going to do Exadrill because he is Steel type, and thus the Future Sight won't hurt him as much. Then again, it says that Future Sight is partially implemented, so I don't know exactly how it's going to work. Does Future Sight carry into next battles in this? Oh, you know what? It says partially implemented. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Special Defense X. We have a boss fight coming up. I want all those bonuses. MDB is big dodged YouTube that Moonlights as Exotic Dancer is the only lore I need. Big dodged? What the hell does that mean? I'm not gonna contend against Moonlights as an exotic dancer. I'll let you believe that. <laughs> it doesn't future sight, just doesn't work yet. I've never seen it hit. Oh, okay. Egg voucher! Wait, hold on. Before I grab the egg voucher, does anyone need heals? Not really, no. We're fine. Gym leader Giovanni with a hat. That's Heart Gold Giovanni, right? Oops. Ah, donged. Big donged. You know what? I'll let you believe that too. Ha, oh, if he stayed in. Really? Okay, no, if he's switching into Haunch Crow for Exadrill, he's got fucking nothing on me. Whoa! Remember that time long, long ago when I said he's got nothing on me? What the fuck? Um... I mean, I'm, am I weak to ground though? Hold on, does steel resist ground? I think it does. So I think it'd be neutral. Okay, well, I'm gonna switch to Bronzong just because it's incredibly tanky. 
How do you crit me again? How does triple arrow work? Is that always a crit move? Or is he just getting very lucky? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I have levitate, don't I? Do I not have levitate? Fuck, I thought I had levitate. It has super luck? That's right. High crit chance. Mm, I don't like this. You think x -Trail's faster? I mean, even if it is, it doesn't matter. He's just going to switch. Ugh. I love Nita King's cry, though. You think the next one could take him out? Maybe. Uh, not if you're using a berry. Yeah, I don't like how this fight's going. I do think I can win, but I really don't like how it's going because my best Pokemon for this just got really messed up. Triple Arrow has three effects, increased crit chance and 50% to either flinch or lower defense. Okay, so increased crit chance with super luck has a really high crit chance. Gotcha. Ow. Nice crit, but I'm slower, so I think I'm just going down here. You and your fucking berries. Well, apparently I had a reviver seed I didn't even know about. Hey, that was a lucky miss. Mm. Oh, I held on. I mean, I, I think I just got to commit here. I'm going to faint because he'll be faster, but you know. No use switching into something and just letting them faint. I don't like the team that I have left. I guess I'll go with this just because part flying. Rock you like a hurricane? Ow! Don't miss. Oh. Hmm. Oh, he's faster. This might be game. I hate that he has Moxie, too. Oh, he's confused, though. Hold on, we might be back in this. Ah, we have a reviver seed though, we have a reviver seed. Okay, it's not over. Does he have one left? Yeah, Honchkrow, yeah. Nah, oh, he's faster. Oh my God, the focus band kicked in. We survived because of the focus band. We had two focus bands, so that's a 20% chance of survival. That was so unbelievably close. Last Pokemon, one health left. My god. Oh. Yeah, that was clutch. Oh, good music alert. Haven't we already done the construction site this, this file? Oh. oh, right, I should use that voucher. Can I get more of those focus bands? Because I'm loving them. Memory mushroom. Um, I can just buy those now, huh? Just Pokeballs. Worker Dylan! Ah, 
I don't mean to backseat, which is always what someone says when they're backseating, but that was almost a throw. It was using Thrash, and you could have uh, used a free switch to Shandy. Um, I mean, I couldn't guarantee it was only going to use Thrash. I don't know the rest of its moves. It was a throw if you can see the future, I guess. <laughs> Thrash locks in. Oh, shit, you're right. Thrash does lock in. No, I forgot that. Yeah, I forgot that's how that works. Mm. I will just flamethrower. Mmm. Okay, that didn't hurt too bad. Use the memory mushroom on Clobopus for taunt because that's how it evolves. Oh, I didn't know it needs taunt. Man, I never would have guessed that. Jesus. Man, that's a lot of money, but I do want it to evolve, so I guess I have to. You'd think it would be submission. Because isn't that what it is? It's like a submission um, octopus? I guess I'll get rid of Bulk Up. The worst part is Taunt does nothing in this. Oh, so it doesn't even work? That's brutal. Yay! Yay! It evolved into into Jonathan Grisham. Octolock. Prevents it from fleeing, also lowers the target's defense and special defense every turn? Oh, fuck you, Taunt. <laughs> Getting rid of that. Octolock's kind of cool. I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, Mock Punch... I mean... Rhyperior has that ability where it takes less damage from, from um, super effective moves, right? Not like less less, I mean less than it normally would, but it, it's still super effective. Yeah, Octolock seems pretty cool. Just don't crit me with Stone Edge. Looks radioactive. I can kind of see that. Those are kind of like poison dart frog colors. Only the real ones know Jonathan Grisham. Because he's awesome. And by only the real ones, I mean I think Retro's in the chat. <laughs> I like how to the non-wrestling viewers... All they know about wrestling is the names of a bunch of random things I bring up and that Retro watches. Because <laughs> I always bring up Retro will get it. Wow, good mock punch. I think I know who that is. If you ha if you haven't had the privilege of watching the, on the octopus, Jonathan Grisham, you should check him out. He's one of my like all time favorites. Former Ring of Honor champ, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, short, super, super jacked, uh, bald, beard, black. Um, comes out to the ring with an, uh, a skeletal octopus mask. And nowadays, he has like an, an evil alter, alter ego. You know how like KG Mudo has his evil character, Great Muda, right? Well, Jonathan Grisham has a Jonathan Grisham character where he wears a Muda-like mask. Instead of the poison mist, he, um, he'll he cough and start spitting up ink, and he mists the ink in their face. He is... He's not only one of the best submission wrestlers I've ever seen in my life, but his just... His ring psychology is amazing. He can pin people with, like, random pins and stuff, and just... Oh, he's just a really fun character. He's, he's tremendous. 
I can't do him justice. You just gotta watch him a little bit, and you'll instantly be, you'll instantly among, you watch like one match of his, any match, and you'll just, you'll get why he's so special. He's, uh, he's one of a kind. He's one of those wrestlers that really stand out as their own wrestler. Damn, I was kind of hoping, you know, we're not high special tech, extra sensory is not super strong. I was kind of hoping it would survive with a little health there. Only thing I know about wrestling is whoever Kane and The Undertaker, because an old friend of mine liked them. Well, Kane is spelled with a K, but yes, I know who you're talking about. Grip Claw, chance that you will steal a held item. I think I will take... Oh, but Big Nugget. No, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Grip Claw because a lot of people have items now. Hey, what are like my stats? Wow, that attack is high. Whoa, I'm gonna start using him a lot more often. What's your favorite wrestling YouTube channel? Oh, um, New Legacy NL, New Legacy Inc. Uh, they do wrestling video games. Wow, he survived with the tiniest of slivers. I thought he died. Um, NL, New Wrestling, uh, New Legacy Inc. is just one of my favorite YouTube channels in general. It's incredibly funny. I'm also a big fan of Deadlock, but, like, they're not just a YouTube channel. They're, like, a podcast. I listen to them on Spotify. They're my favorite podcast. I'm also on their... Wow, come on, don't let me faint. I'm also on their, um... Patreon. I watch, like, everything that goes up on their Patreon. Wow, I got really fucking unlucky with that. Um... Let's keep trying. Finally! Good lord! I'm already really liking this experience share thing that, like, weights the experience towards the lower level members to catch them up. That is such a nice item. I don't even have the money for a regular revive. Fucking, I'm just, I'm just gonna punch it. I'm not even gonna try and catch it. You're right, Grip Claw would work better with multi-hitting moves. I just don't think I have any. Mmm. Rare candy. Dude, I really like this octopus. I took it because it had really amazing EVs, right? Egg Voucher Plus. I can't pass that up. We are breezing through this construction yard. Ooh, we got an epic egg. Any idea how much longer the stream will go? Probably not like crazy long. Because I still got to finish other work today, and my uh, everything hurts. And then if I survive and can still sit down for a while, then I'll play some more Haven tonight. With you guys! Again, Haven and Hearth, free! Damn, look at those EVs! Those are really good! Wow, and uh, defense nature. You can only imagine how high the defense on that must be. Yeah, sometime tonight I'll be playing more Haven and Hearth. If anybody wants to play it with me, hey, join in my Discord, free game. It's on Steam now, as of yesterday. You can join in, join my Discord, link to the description of all my stuff. Ugh. Might also be on the World of Warcraft private server. You can also find that on the Discord. It's also free. We also have a guild for that. Happy to play it with you guys. Damn, we are like fully maxed out on our levels. Thank you for playing this game so I don't have to. Curiosity is satisfied. Happy to help. Happy to help. I repeat things a lot, don't I? 
Dude, I... Hmm. Okay, well, it doesn't matter if he beats me up a lot, because we're going to heal right after this fight anyway. There we go. But well, not great EVs for a boss. I'm not wasting a Master Ball on that. I'm saving it for... Wow, I'm fighting a lot of fucking electrodes this game. We're in a power plant again. <laughs> Sure, use explosion. It's not gonna do diddly fuck. Hey! Lunch eggs are hatching. Floor 95? Yeah, we're getting pretty far. Really should be called geothermal plant. Yeah. Lot of speed. Uh, we maxed out our special attack, which was almost maxed out before this. I do like Lotad, though. Um, Ludicolo is a pretty solid Pokemon. Apple Acid, huh. Whismur! Whoa! That's a huge upgrade on EVs for Whismur. I don't like calm attack nature that much, but I think Whismur might be a special attacker anyway. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know why people ask me what my least favorite Pokemon is. I don't have one, and I don't get why people have least favorites. Doesn't really make any sense to me. It's that thing I never remember the name of. Finian! That's what it was. That's my first Finian. Had great special attack, too. Yay, Murkrow! Super luck is a really fun ability. Coaching. Boosting their attack and defense. Oh, so it, it's bulk up. Oh, it's ally Pokemon. My bad. Oh, that's a crazy looking Pokemon. Bug Electric. Vikavolt. I kind of like it. It's not flying, even though it has wings. I got to get that in my head. It might have levitate. It wouldn't shock me. I mean, it would shock me, but because it's electric, you know what it is. Um, bird. Ah, I can catch this thing. Fuck, that hurt. It's super slow. Okay. I mean, if it's a rail gun, that makes sense. Dude, those, those uh, EVs, EVs, IVs, those. I e I why am I ble why am I fucking second guessing this now? It's Ivies suck. Have I been saying Eevees this whole time? I'm second guessing now. My bad. Not effort values, inherent values. I'm so used to saying Eevees because like Pokemon challenges. I never really talk about Ivies in uh, Pokemon challenges because I don't know what my Ivies are. I I have no way to check. Ooh, I don't really need more experience charms, but I'm going to take the experience charm. <laughs> Electrifier. Ooh, you think you can survive an earthquake? Oh, probably not. I shouldn't risk it. I'll just give it a punch. Rogue ball. Dude, do not make me waste the rogue balls. Oof, okay, okay. Special attack up, attack down. I want to say Electrovire is a physical attacker, but I could be wrong. That might be a pretty good Electrovire, though. I, I've liked a lot of the Pokemon we've caught this run, actually. Modest Electrovire to the top, at the top. Someone gets it. Someone gets it. But only if you're really cool. I guess I really don't need the rare candies when we're not at max level yet. Ah! That's not gonna do anything. 
Hey, fuck you, Amalga. One of the most annoying Pokemon in Gen 5. I like how it looks, though. Um... I'll take the X defense, because we're about to go into a boss. Hey, rival fight! Good thing I took it. Who knows, maybe it'll save us. Whoa. Okay, switch in. Yeah, you do your leaf storm. Wow, that hurt! Damn! Alright. Man, I'm never gonna get a burn on that. I want to switch to grapple locked, but I'm probably just gonna faint to whatever he's using if I do that. Um, he could be using a rock move, but he could also be using a water move. If he's using a rock move, then Exitrail is a great choice. If he's using a water move, not so much. But I'm gonna risk it. Sweet. He was using a rock move. Ah! You switching, bitch. I probably should have just used rock throw, anticipating a switch. Well, that worked out fine. <laughs> so many level ups. Ooh, if I hit with Rock Slide, it'll probably just one-shot it. Okay, okay, if you're se if that's what you're sending in against X Drill, then I feel pretty good. Why didn't he just send in the, the Grass type again? Because, I guess because he thought Fire would be super effective. Yeah. I don't want to switch into Chandelure again, I'm just going to get taken out. Yeah, maybe Bronzong. Bronzong is very tanky. Damn it, it still hurts so much. Lord to special attack, though. I don't even know what I want to use. Metal sound? Crunch. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to have to faint here. That's okay. Um, I don't want to send Chandelure in, because he's going to crunch. Oh, what am I thinking? I have poison. I should have been using poison type. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Damn it. Okay, well, I'm using Toxic. I'm really sick of this. Oh, my God, it's like he knew anti crit. And curative poison. I, was that an ability or something he was holding that just did that? What the hell? Oh, man, how do I want to deal with this? Um, minimize, maybe? You know what? I like that idea. Had a lumberry? Okay. Yeah, get fucked. I forgot that minimizes double evasion in this. Way too powerful. I should have been using this more often. There we go. Try and get some flinches. Waste its time while it gets poisoned down. Nice. I should probably use Muck to use Toxic and Minimize and Stall more often. It's pretty good at that. The hell is that? Whatever it is, I'm gonna poison it. It looks kind of cool. Fighting Dragon. Uh-oh. 
Oh, that hurt. Yeah, become confused. Muck is really helping here. Pseudo from Gen 7? Okay. Just gunk shot. Damn right. The worst pseudo legendary in your opinion? Does it have like bad moves and stats or something? Hey! Oh, another candy jar. I'm tempted by the ultra ball, but I think I'm gonna take the candy jar. Stack them. Get fucked, Plusle. Was that one Doug or Danny? Does anyone remember? Ugh, I'm not even gonna revive Bronzong. Maybe if I get a lot more money. I don't want any of these. Um... Dude, I wish I could just pass. <laughs> yeah, we have a boss coming soon. I really don't want any of these. I'll take the Pokeballs. Enough with your plusles and minins. Whichever one you got first was Doug. Oh, that sounds right. Max Potion, I'll take that. Whoa! The thing on the left looks like a children's toy, but I also kind of love it. I'm gonna switch into my flying type so I can earthquake. Avocado frog? Yes! Oh no, it's red with a sliver! Wow, you can barely see that. That is nuts. I'm gonna catch it then. Dude. Why? There we go. You can pass. If you hit what B is bound to item select, it uh, will skip it. But does passing give you anything? Like, is there any advantage at all? Oh, eggs! No advantage? Oh, okay. Mud Bray. Oh, I, I, I guess I like getting more EVs and whatnot. Cub Chew, I like that Pokemon. Relic Gold grants a large sum of money. Damn, that is a large sum of money. That's exactly what I've been needing. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we got a boss fight coming up now, so I'm very, very happy I got that money. Disney Donkey? Yeah, you're telling me. Okay, it's more cost effective to max revive. Okay. Feeling good. Okay, he's, he's not a trainer boss. That's good. Maybe I shouldn't have healed that much. Oh, I definitely shouldn't have healed that much. Is it even going to hurt me? Water gun. Dude, I should not have spent that much money on healing. Spent like half the money I just got, if not more. Yeah, that was most of the money, and I didn't need it. Man. Lame. I thought it was going to be like a gym leader or something. 
Back in the factory. Yeah, better safe than sorry, that's true. Oh, I just realized I forgot to take chicken down. Oh, what am I gonna eat after the stream then? Mm. You know, I still have some of that ground beef I cooked up. That's still good. I can make some homemade nachos, that'll be delicious. Cut up some tomato, cut up some green onion, grate up some cheese. Oh, that'll be really good, actually. Got some yogurt. Uh, X attack. Oh, I still want that Porygon. I didn't catch it last time, though, because I was in a never ending battle with it and then it died and I forget how, like a crit or something. I'm gonna catch it this time. Nothing can stop me. Motherfuck. Motherfuck. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Porygon 2 is unkillable with Evilite. Yeah, <laughs> it can be pretty powerful. We got Porygon Z. Hardy Mint, Matthew or Jeffrey? Does anyone have a nature I hate that I want to get rid of? I mean, I'm not thrilled about attack down. Attack up is so sweet. I think I want to replace Mux. Oh no! It's Christmas! A flock of deli bird have appeared in their natural habitat, the dilapidated factory. Looking you expectantly. Give money. Give item. Do I have an item I don't care about? Sorry, that cry is really annoying when you're just scrolling through. <laughs> HP up. I think I want to give money. Turn back and they give you a present. An amulet coin! Hey! That gives me more money back. That's worth it. It's an investment. What a curious little exchange. Are there different parts of the world that say Z and Z? Yeah. Uh, Z is Canada and the United Kingdom. And probably Australia and probably New Zealand. Uh, Z is just the United States. And by proxy, Japan. Japanese English is mostly based in American English. Really, Z is just America. You gave him so much money, it wasn't that bad. Look, one nugget and we get most of our money back. Another Porygon, okay. Whew, I get so many level ups, I love it. We have just the right bonuses where it's very easy to keep our team at max level. Shouldn't you heal the paralysis on Exadrill? Yeah. Golden Punch, half the direct damage inflicted as money. I want that. Big Nugget's good though. Hold on. Half inflicted as money. That's not much money compared to Big Nugget. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna take the Big Nugget. 
Because, like, how much damage am I really doing? Like, let's say I slap it on... It doesn't matter who I slap it on, as long as they're killing people, but, like, most of the enemy Pokémon have under 200 health. I'm getting half of that back as money. That's, like, nothing at this point. Early game, that might be good. You have 100 more floors to use Gold Punch, if I get that far. They stack. It's permanent. Adds up on your physical attackers? I guess... I really don't know if that's ever, but is that ever going to make me 5,000 worth? I would have to take out, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna pop, pop open my calculator. Let's say the average Pokemon from this point on has 180 health. It's less than that, but let's just say 180 to make it a high number. Let's say I make every single Pokemon outside of the trainer fights faint with this one Pokemon that has it. So there's um, 94 left. That would be uh, 17,000 gold. Now we obviously know I am not getting that many kills with just the one Pokemon. Is it really worth it rather than just having the 5,000 that I can spend right away? I don't know. Enemy max HP keeps increasing. That's true. I just don't know if I'm making my money back on that. Wow, that music didn't even loop. It just faded out and then came back. That was crazy. Amulet coin also adds money. That's true. Did they stack? Does does the golden punch and the amulet coin stack together? Cause if so, that's pretty good. Oh, that's a good question actually. Does amulet coin affect every money income or every money source? Or is it just affecting when I beat trainers? I can catch this, probably. Hi, Rocky. Hi, Rocky, you want me to pull your chair up? Here you go. Here you go, you wanna? Hi. Yeah, you're invited. You wanna? Oh, a little bit. Well, you can jump up if you want to. Yeah, I know level cap's 200. We've already had Pokemon go above 100. We're getting kind of close to um, our record, by the way. I believe our record right now is 115. So we're getting close. PowerPoint up. Mm. Probably going to put that on Earthquake because we do run out on it. What's this? Rich looking boy. I'm not giving you my Exadrill. I can extort him by using Octolock? I'm extorting him. My word, we're being robbed, Lipard. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Wow, that was a lot of money. <laughs> that leveled up my team. Oh, that's funny. What time is it in Canada right now? I mean, it's 7 p.m. where I am in Canada, but Canada crosses like five time zones. It's a very big country. It's the second largest country in the world by landmass. Which is an impressive bragging right until you realize that by landmass, we are like incredibly close to being the same size as the United States, but we say that we're bigger, but it's almost identical. Also, the vast majority of our land is unusable. United States is much larger in terms of actual usable land. Really in any factor that matters, United States is a bigger country. Canada's also only got about the population of California. There's a reason that nearly every Canadian lives within an hour of the US border. US is fourth without Alaska? Without Alaska, sure. But Alaska counts. Look, if Alaska counts, 
the, if, if Canada counts all of its land, then you have to count Alaska. Hi, Screamus. He's running in and screaming. Rocky, I fed you like less than an hour ago. <laughs> I fed him right before the premiere and then right before the stream. There's no way he ate it all. He probably just wants to hang out. Well, Rocky, we can hang out soon. I need a little standing break soon anyway. Uh, X defense. We have a boss fight coming up. Hi, Rocky. I don't even know if you guys can hear him or not. He's very vocal, though. I'm inviting him on, up onto his chair next to me that he loves. Oh, oh, he jumped up now. Hi. Hi. Yeah, good boy. You stare at me so expectantly. Can't hear the cat? Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to click whatever that was. Damn, my bad. I blame you, Rocky. Yeah, your fault. <laughs> God, I always have the worst Pokemon out whenever I get into a boss fight. There, he's just quietly purring up a storm now because I'm petting him. Yeah, I thought you'd switch. Oh, this is going to be fine. If this is what he's switching into, then we're not in danger. Have we fought Byron Sexton's SmackDown commentator yet? Don't have Levitate. Good. Uh, he's very satisfied with these head scratches. I think he just wants to hang out. If he was hungry and I was giving him head scratches, he would get very antsy. Rocky, I know you almost never want lap time, but do you want lap time? Let me, let me provide lap. Hi. Do you want lap time? You're invited. Wow, he survived that? What the hell? Okay, he'll survive. He, okay, yeah, he has an ability for that. Man, I'm gonna go down then. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Okay, whatever. It really sounds like a womp. Oh, this is borderline a sweep. Oh, sturdy? Yeah. Well, that was fucking easy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't want to go to the laboratory again, planes. Yeah, Rocky, we're being boring. We're going to the planes. You know, where you find the, the pig and... Alakazam. Uh, 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 uh. Mm, Shadow Ball. Well, I'm happy you didn't use that on Muck, at least. Uh, for 115, we'll have a full list of evolutions. I know, that's where we fainted last time. Our current record is 115. We lost to the, um, the, uh, team whatever leader. I think it was team aqua leader? Archie, that was his name. Sorry, Archie is such an afterthought in Pokemon Emerald. That's where I fight him most of the time. I'm um, stacking this X Defend. Or refreshing it, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, double battle. Oh! Tough team.
Shadow Ball. Um, Bronzong, I guess. Nice. Catch Gallade? Oh, I can't. This is a trainer battle. I do wish I had a Gallade, though. It's a really solid Pokemon. I don't even think I have a Ralts now that I think about it. I don't think I've caught one before. Whoa, that's crazy looking. Look at him. He's like spiky evil Wiggler from Mario. I like his animation a lot. Crazy that his fighting type looks like it should be a bug. There we go. Rocky's looking very content now laying next to me. So many level ups. Ah, that wasn't even that bad. They stuff ancient Greek Roman words. Oh, what, like a phalanx or something? I, I get you. Once you brought that up, it's supposed to look like a marching phalanx, but not in square formation. Um, I guess I'll shadow ball and switch. Oh, Drill Run. Shit, I didn't think it would have a ground move. Also, it crit, which is cruel. Okay, well, if it's going to use a ground move again, I'll switch to Grapple Lot. <laughs> and it missed. It's only a 5%. Hmm. I feel like I should bake the bread. Oh, right, what am I doing? Fighting isn't good against Fairy. What? Oh, it has well-baked body. Okay. Um... God, I guess Shadow Ball, then. At least it's not hurting much. Is that a Muck Fusion? Yeah. Okay, well, we have a lot of money at least. HP up. I do like some HP sauce. Let's stack that on Muck. Oh, it's that crazy manky, uh, a Nile ape. I like that name. Ghost fighting. I guess Chandelure, yeah. Ooh, if I didn't one-shot it, I was going to catch it. I like it. Mankey's uh, one of my favorite Pokemon. And Primate. They're both cool. Yeah, I always forget how other types interact with Fairy as well, because it was introduced in Gen 6, and I mostly played Gen 1 through 5. Oh, we're hatching some blue Yoshi. Oh, Slack Off. With very high special defense. High attack is nice. The rest of the EVs are whatever. Oh, Porygon! Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm not going to complain about getting more, F more IVs. I'm seeing EVs again. I should stack the defense. Fucking fucking fuck. I thought that was going to be on 115, not 114. Oh, uh, Breloom is tough, too. Yeah, you better switch, you fucker. Don't switch to that. You have an egg voucher? Oh, that's right. No boss, this is admin? Right. 
Ooh, we've got an epic one. Grapple lock. I'm gonna octolock whatever motherfucker comes out. Oh shit. Well, I can punch him with water, I guess. Our attack is crazy high, but it's still not doing much. Damn it. Well, it's dropping its own defenses as well. With that many defense drops, I feel like I can commit to this. Defense throws. Oh, it's eating berries and stuff. What is even its stats now? Okay, I'm gonna switch. Um, I'm gonna switch to... Yeah, you're right, Muck is part normal. I should use that. How many berries do you have? Bulldoze, ah, I don't like that. All right, I'm gonna fight like an asshole then. See if I can get away with it. This is what Muck's here for. Okay, we got our triple minimize. Now I'm gonna poison him. Ugh, I got crit on that one. Come on, man. I had maxed out evasion. Um... <sighs> you switching bastard. Volt Absorb. Mother of fuck. Yeah, max dodge, get hit twice in a row. Dude. Okay. Okay, I've learned more of her team. Yep. Use Discharge, do like nothing. Yeah, it doesn't affect me. And I'm gonna Rock Slide, because I know what's coming out. I was hoping for more than that. Ha! Do not like... Crit, are you kidding me? Here we go. I'm just gonna cheese him right back into the combo. Whatever we can do to win, ah! Okay. They're learning. Nice. You think I'm faster? We got a speed of 185. Fuck it, I'm gonna try. Whoo! Good! Stressful. Oh, it's faster? Oh my god, Focus Band saved us again. Not a fun situation. I don't think I'm faster. Oh, I really don't know who to use. Woo! Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, we crit.
God, you item spammer. Oh my god. Maybe I should have used the other move. I mean, that thing's got to be fast, right? It's literally like a monster truck. So I should mock punch. I, uh... I don't like this. And you're just gonna switch, aren't you? You didn't? Okay. I'm staying in. I'm just... I, I might faint, but I'm just gonna let the uh, poison take him out. There we go. We're still in this. Oh, dude, why do I have to pick first? If I switch into anything, they just faint. Ah, uh, I just gotta commit. Oh, of course I miss Horn Trail. Don't forget to heal for 115. Well, of course. Please let me be faster. Okay, cool. Fuck. I think this is a loss. Yep. Damn. We got kind of close. It's a hard fight, though. Oh, that was a good run. What's the next thing with uh, Pokerus? Uh, I like Sfeel. I don't love Sfeel, but I like Sfeel. Oh! Well, 114 loss again, which is the second best I've ever done. I've done 114 twice now. <sighs> oh. Not a good night's sleep. Not a good night's sleep. Hi, Rocky. Yeah. Okay, I am absolutely starving. So I think I should wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, if you're watching live, I'll be on Haven and Hearth tonight. If you want to go play it for free, it's on Steam now. Turn off repeat dialogue. Yep. Thank you for the reminder. I keep forgetting. Um, skip dialogue scenes we've already seen. Yep. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, uh, I need to go figure out what I'm cooking, get some food in me, then I gotta beat a Pokemon run. Ugh. Then I'm probably just gonna work through tomorrow. I haven't had a day off in two weeks. <laughs> Every time I would have a day off, something gets in the way. So I, uh, you yeah, know, <laughs> I... Look, I, I'm the only one who works at my Dry Bread Incorporated, so it, if work needs to get done, it's me. <laughs> you know how it is. A YouTuber's life is never... Okay, well, I was gonna say YouTuber's life is never over. No, actually, we're not immortal. You can die. You can die. So, a YouTuber's work day is never over. There you go, that's accurate. I'm gonna be up till 8 in the morning, probably, which is, um... 13 hours from now. <sighs> I'll get some Haven in tonight, though. I'll have a fun time hanging out with you guys. I'll be in the Haven and Hearth Discord chat. I'll also be in games so we can be in a party together, talking and cooking together and getting murdered by Russians together. All that good stuff. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And until next time, have a nice day.